I'm so fresh, man. Man, y'all scared to do it how I do it. The jump shot has become one of the most common shots used in basketball. It helps the player elevate his or her body above the opponent, making it harder to defend. It also helps to give power to the shot. Perfecting the jump shot includes producing spin on the ball while shooting. The Magnus effect explains how projectiles can curve when moving through a fluid like air. When they shoot, they are applying a force to the left. Airflow is causing a force on the ball to the right. By dropping their fingers down, they are applying a backspin on the ball, causing the ball to rotate in the clockwise direction. The airflow syncs up with the rotation, pushing the air around the ball and down. This means the side of the ball moving away from him, the bottom, works against the airflow, and the side moving toward him, the top, works with it. The airflow moving against the spinning ball would be abruptly stopped. Consequently, there's higher pressure on the side of the ball where the airflow is suddenly halted, and this pushes the ball in the opposite direction, upward. When shooting a basketball, the arm with which a ball is shot will act as a lever. The jump shot uses two third-class levers, where the effort is applied between the fulcrum and the load, operating at a mechanical disadvantage. While this requires a larger effort to overcome the resistance, it allows for more speed and range of motion. The first third-class lever has its fulcrum at the elbow joint, the effort where the triceps connect to the forearm, and the load where the ball is held in the hand. The second third class lever has its fulcrum in the wrist, its effort where the tendon from the forearm connects to the hand, and its load where the ball is held. To better understand the forces acting on the system, we can draw a free body diagram. For this example, the system consists of the upper arm, forearm, and the basketball. We want to include external forces only. First, we draw a model of the system. The first forces we draw are the force of the weight of the upper arm and the force of the weight of the forearm. Next, we will draw the force of the weight of the basketball. Since the force of the muscles are internal, the only other force we include is the force of the shoulder joint in the X and the Y direction. Yeah. What the hell that be, huh?